Okay. There we go. There we go. Y'all pray for me that, that I can get me a new laptop so I can relieve Kim of this of having to run my slides for me. But <laughs> no problem. Do it. But anyway. Um, good morning. And our little popcorn prayer said good this morning. morning, may God bless your morning with peace and joy. Good morning. So that's morning. that's just our little prop popcorn prayer. And it's um, January the 10th, and the title of our lesson today is called Two Significance. And I just want to say Happy New Year to everybody. I was gone for two weeks, and I didn't get a chance to get my Happy New Year's in. So I'm glad to see that everybody was safe over the, the, the holidays and everything. It's just good to see everybody. So good morning to you all. Um, can we have somebody open us up in prayer, please? I will. Okay. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning and allowing us to be able to study your word once more. Lord, we just pray, Lord, we want to lift up this country in prayer, Lord, with all the turmoil. Lord, we know that you're still in control, Lord, and we just ask, Lord, that you bring peace and tranquility, Lord, to all this chaos that's going on now. We pray that us as your people, Lord, uh, learn uh, what you have us learned from all that's going on yeah. so that we can be obedient to you, Lord, so you can yes. bring peace to, to our country, Lord. Yes. Lord, we just pray, Lord, for Sunday school this morning, Lord, that, that you teach us your word, that we receive your word and we obey your word, Lord, and we just ask that you be with our facilitator, Lord, that she gives Thanks, us the Father. blessing and that you... Uh, Help us, Lord, to uh, receive the words that you have for us. In Jesus' name we pray. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay. Um, again, the title of our lesson today is called To Significant, and we're in the book of Luke, in the fifth chapter, and our verses are 1 through 11. So um, could we have someone read uh, our aim for change, please? By the end of this lesson, we will contemplate a what is that? Miraculous. Miraculous. Miraculous catch of fish reflecting on Simon changing attitudes towards Jesus and hear Jesus' instructions and eagerly obey him. Okay, thank you. Uh, can we go to the next slide, please? Okay, again, we're, we're in Luke and we're going to start with verses 1 through three. This is probably pretty familiar. So um, we can have a lot of discussion today because we probably, like I say, are familiar with this with this lesson. So um, someone could read these first three verses, please. One day as Jesus was preaching on the shore of the Sea of Galilee, great crowds pressed in on him to listen to the word of God. He noticed two empty boats at the water's edge for the fishermen had left them and were washing their nets. Stepping into one of the boats, Jesus asked Simon, its owner, to push it out into the water. So he sat in the boat and taught the crowds from there. Okay. This, this uh, occurrence is a little bit after uh, Jesus had come from the wilderness. He'd been in the wilderness and had been tempted of the devil. And then when he got through with all that, he came down and got right to work. Um, he knew what he had to do. He had to go through what he had to go through, the, the baptism and the, the, the fasting and being in the wilderness for 40 days. But then he came down and he got to work. And by the time we get here um, in these verses, Jesus has been around and he's already started his missionary journeys. And he's already um, performed a few miracles. So he already has a following. And you know how we are uh, when we were younger and had it out there on and popping. You have one group that had two great songs. And as soon as they come to town for a concert, we run it, trying to buy tickets, trying to get on the first row, all of that. And they've just done a couple of things. But here we are. We've got Jesus that have done miraculous things. And people would come probably 
because they required something of him. They wanted something of him. Or they were just curious. They just want to see what, what's up with this. I, I've heard some things about him, this guy. So uh, he's at the Sea of Galilee, which uh, the Sea of Galilee is uh it's a place of great wealth. It, it's heavily populated, also known as the Lake Rasir Tiberias, the Lake of Gennesareth, or Lake Kinnereth, just other names that they were called by. Populated. On a lake, bunch of fish, people there making money. So it was a lot of people there. And like I say, by this time, Jesus, according to what had been recorded um, in the Gospels, has performed already five or six miracles and people already know what's going up. So when he gets there, he sees these two boats. There are all these people there and there's a great crowd. A great crowd is gathered and he sees two boats. And usually, and this is like I say, at the Sea of Galilee, these are fishermen. That's what a lot of people do. So there were two boats docked at the shore. And they usually would go out in twos. The boats would go out in twos because this way one boat would have half of the net and the other boat would have the half of the net. And as they sailed, they would drag the sea or drag through the water and would catch fish. So that's why there were most likely two people there or two boats there. And one of them uh, boats belonged to Simon. So when he sees the people and he sees the boats, what does Jesus do when he sees the crowd? He went in the boat. He went out into the water. He gets into the boat. I can, I'm sorry, say again. He got into, he went out into the water so that he would be away from the crowd. He got in a boat. He got in an empty boat. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. He looked, he got, he saw the crowd. And like yes. I say, he, people are, if you know that somebody can heal you by speaking or touching you, you see them, you want to get next to them. Just like right. the woman who touched the hem right. of the garment. I just, you know, I don't even have to touch his flesh. I just need to touch his clothes and I'm all right. Mm -hmm. So there's a great press here. Mm -hmm. And Jesus has got something he's got, he wants to say, he needs to say. So yes, he gets in the boat to get away from the people. And as you can see, there's a great throng there of people just trying to get to him. So he gets in the boat, he sails away to get away from the press. And then also... So he can better be heard. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the reasons that he, he got into the boat. Um, then the boat that he stepped in belonged to Simon. One of the miracles that Jesus had performed was when, before he got to this point, was when he healed Simon, Simon, P Simon Peter later on, when he healed Simon's mother-in-law. So they are already at this early point in Jesus's ministry, developing a, a relationship. We know as the, the gospels go on, as Jesus' um, a missionary journey goes on, him and Peter, uh, Peter is more endeared to him. And P, uh, sorry, Simon is um, part of Jesus's inner circle. But this is the development of their relationship. So he looks up, he goes, okay, they're my boy Simon Boat. Let me get in here and sail mm -hmm. on out. And so then he gets in the boat and sails out, like we say, to get away from the crowd. And so he, they um, could be healed. So Jesus is taking an opportunity to teach where he is. One thing we should note here, he has gone to where the people are. We've seen scriptures before where Jesus would go into town and go into the synagogue and start teaching. But now he goes to the people. Sometimes people want to judge where other people do their ministry. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen that? Oh, yeah. why are you at why are you at the liquor hanging out outside the liquor store? Uh -huh. well, yeah. Yeah. Is that not where people are that might need to hear a word from the Lord? Yes. Why yes. are you hanging out at the club? Well, we got a couple of reasons for hanging out at the club, but <laughs> we real I'm there. I'm trying to witness. I'm trying to let people know. But have you ever seen that? where yeah. somebody has gone to the people 
to teach, to preach, to witness, and to testify, and they get talked about. They get judged. Amen. Have you yeah. ever seen that? Mm -hmm. Amen. That brings to mind, um, I heard a song where this man, he had all his life, you know, drank and was an alcoholic and stuff, but he found the Lord. And people just seen him walking on the streets because he was homeless. And the song goes, I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save yeah. anybody. Yeah. All right. So, yes, All right. you know, All right. we Ooh. can judge people just because <laughs> of the way they look. Mm -hmm. So, you know. And yeah. so, I mean, and when you get through shaking it all out, though we may not all have been called to preach by the Lord, mm -hmm. as born and grin, again, Christians, we Come all on. have a ministry. Yeah. Amen. Which Amen. means we're, we're servants and we're servants yeah. of Jesus Christ. So we all have a ministry. Amen. So um, we teach, we go and we can go into unexpected places. I know some of y'all probably be, been standing in the line at the grocery store. I saw a t-shirt the other day said, caution, likely to start talking about Jesus at any time. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> So, you, know, you don't know when you're going to pop off about talking about the Lord. Amen. Right? Yeah. So we need to be ready with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, on. Anybody have anything they want to say I, on that? Yeah, I do. I what also, not, not also, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Not, not also, not uh, also uh, going where the people are, but also look at the platform. Mm -hmm. Where is the pulpit? Yeah, in the in the water, in a boat, in a boat, and it ain't at a church. That's right. <laughs> yeah. the, the platform he used a boat, you know. Yeah, a boat. So yeah. he, uh -huh. the, wherever the world is being taught and preached, That's you know, cool. he he just wanted to get. He used. He didn't say, "Well, I don't. I'm not on drive. I gotta go to from the best platform I have to reach the people." He used right. what was there. Right. And we have seen people bad. on on street corners. I know I've seen them on up and down 38th Street. They're mm -hmm. standing out there with megaphones or you know some kind kind of little speaker set up, just teaching and preaching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is where they are trying to reach the people. So you're right, Vanessa. He just like, hey, yeah, I'm not in the synagogue, the synagogue, but I want right. to make sure these people hear me. So let me get in this boat and then yeah. yeah. Yeah, yes, and I'm, 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 my thought is where, wherever there is a, a child of God, <coughs> you have a, a crowd, whoever's around you. And it's, it's not always what you say. It's how you say, and it's how you live and how you walk. And sometimes on our, on our jobs, we don't have to say a lot with our mouths, but the way we conduct ourselves will tell people a lot about, about, about your God. And, so, and remember, so for, for most people, the only Jesus they're going to see is the person who says they're a Christian. <coughs> so what are, what are you showing them? Right. You know, what, what are they seeing from, from you, especially on our jobs and especially in the, in the neighborhoods where we live? Mm -hmm. People who see us every day. Yeah. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Minister Bartlett, you are so right because God has shown us COVID. We don't have to deliver the word in the church. We're mm -hmm. saying churches are closed. The church is not mm -hmm. closed. The building is closed. The building is closed. Amen. 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 Good point. Amen. Go ahead. It also, it also right. reminds me of the Great Commission. The Great Commission says go into the hedges and the highways. Let's go anywhere. You don't, mm -hmm. you know, that's to, just to go out. Hallelujah. Like, like, like yeah. Sissy was saying, the clubs, wherever. Right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And that is, that's what Jesus said before he rose up out of here. Go out there and compel men to come to me wherever they are, Amen. however you can. So thank you for that. That's, that's a good point. Okay. Can we have our next slide, please? Okay. Um, will somebody read that for us, please? When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, now go out where it is deeper and let down your nets to catch some fish. Master, 
Simon replied. We worked hard all last night and didn't catch a thing. But if you say so, I'll let the nets down again. And this time their nets were so full of fish, they began to tear. A shout for help brought their partners in the other boat and soon both boats were filled with fish and on the verge of sink. Sink. Mm. Okay, thank you. Mm. All right. So Jesus is done teaching. Points we want to bring up here. Simon is a fisherman. That is his vocation. It mm. said that he they had been out all night fishing. Mm -hmm. And they were known where they are. Or I don't know about fishing. I mean, I've been fishing a couple of times in my life, but I don't know anything about it. But I was interested to learn that uh, fish, they kind of come to the surface or closer to the surface of the water in the cool of the night because yes. the oxygen level is better. So it was better for them to fish at night because the fish come out at night. So exactly. <laughs> y'all caught that. Okay. Like <laughs> 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 right, okay, Jackson, okay. <laughs> Get that one. Get the kids. Okay. Ours and my creepers. So anyway, so they go, they've been out all night. And in verse two, it said they were washing their nets. You know, they, the, the nets were made out of like a linen material. They'd been out and they were probably uh, full of all kind of gunk and seaweed and whatever else is out there that's not fish. But they were washing their nets and they were done. And what does Simon do? Here he go. We've talked about Peter and Peter kind of reminds me of myself sometimes. I always got something to say. So Peter goes, I'm sorry. Y'all y'all know who I'm talking about. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so Simon goes, wait, 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 Lord. He calls him master. He recognizes who he is. It's a great mm -hmm. rabbi, teacher, whatever. He says, wait a minute. We worked hard all last night. They had been mm -hmm. up all night fishing dragging them nets back and forth, didn't catch anything, maybe a fish or two. So they pull into the dock, and they done, they washing their nets, they were ready to give up, and then now they're back out there. And Jesus is like, hey, cast those nets out there. And of course, like I say, Simon kind of hesitated and told him that we didn't catch a thing. But if you say so, We'll, we'll do it. We'll let the nets down again. So he did. And when they let down their net, what happened? The fish. They caught fish. so much fish. <laughs> they, they almost capsized. Almost capsized. Almost capsized boats. Almost capsized. Oh, uh -huh. And, and what is this a demonstration of? Life. When I, you know, when I, the last bit there where they were on the verge of sinking, mm -hmm. I thought about some time in my life when I felt like I was on the verge of sinking mm -hmm. into the abyss. And when, you know, I've been caught, Jesus caught me and brought me back up. Mm -hmm. Sinking of life sometimes, it can get, be such a struggle. Mm -hmm. You know, at you, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm 63, but mm -hmm. in 63 years of life, it's a lot that goes on. Oh, so yeah. that you can, you know, he gets you through when you mm -hmm. think you can't get through. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and with that, Mary, it also did uh, demonstrates great faith. Mm -hmm. yes. now, here you have Simon, who is a fisherman. Like I said, this is his vocation. And he's just met Jesus. He's seen the miracle that he's done. So he's already with him, but he questioned him. But he's like, you know what? We're do you do say do it? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do, do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Which is obedience, right? I mean, that's obedience. Uh, yeah. Um, because, I mean, even in our lives, we've done things where we've, we, we believe we've heard God say, do this, but maybe it wasn't quite the, the timing. And so we may have, you know, um, not been successful in it. And then when God says now is the time to do it, 
we we're hesitant because we'll say, well, I tried that before and, and mm -hmm. it didn't quite work. Mm -hmm. But it's all about hearing when God says to do exactly. something. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Let me let me let me just say this. Can y'all hear me? Yes. 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 Uh -huh. When you what this what this text says to me that if you will do what God told you to do, then He'll do what you could never do. Exactly. In the King yeah. James version, it says, "But, but at thy word." But Peter says in this in this text, he said, "But if you say so." So if we would just believe God at His word, yeah. and He'll do what we could never do. They exactly. they weren't able to fill the boats, but but at Jesus' word, they, the boats were full with a with a multitude of fish. Right. Mm -hmm. as, as a reward, if we follow Jesus, our blessings will overflow. Exactly. You know, so we've got to obey his word and our blessings will really overflow, you know, like they had so many fish about to sink. So, That's you know, right. we got to trust him and obey him. And that was their reward for their faithfulness and their obedience. Okay. Mm -hmm. They got all these fish where they've been out all night and Jesus said, hey, mm -hmm. go on. I got this. Yes. I got Amen. this. You know, do what I tell you to do and watch what... Amen. Watch what happens. Yes. Amen. So they go and they drag and they got all these fish and then the boat that they tear in the nets and and then uh, Simon is like, hey y'all, we need some help. So then the, the next boat comes and and he tries to grab that net and then it, they grab the net and they're still pulling in all these fish and both boats almost sink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's that one? Pressed down, shaking together and overflowing. Yeah, mm -hmm. running over. over. That's right. Oh. Yes. yes. So th that that's what their that was their reward. So he's showing with this teaching here. We got um, like Cece kind of kind of hit on two kinds of teaching here. He's taught the word from his mouth, but now he's showing his godly power. Exactly. You know what they say? I. I used to say, I'm not from Missouri, but you got to show me. Yeah, to show me. That's <laughs> what they had. He had mm -hmm. to show them. Mm -hmm. And then he, they looked and they like, can you imagine? Mm -hmm. After being out, I don't know, maybe oh, they've yes. been out 12 hours, eight hours, and I don't know. But can you imagine after being out for hours and getting, yeah. didn't even get a shrimp, <laughs> and now you got two boatloads full of fish breaking up nets mm -hmm. and, and sinking the boat mm -hmm. just by mm -hmm. the word of God. Yeah. Okay. So who are you going to follow now? Yeah. Here, the expert <laughs> I, I got to really praise God. Um, this is my, my mother. This is one more time. It caught me right now. Um, my home is Detroit, Michigan, Bell Isle, in the water. <laughs> My mother and me and the children, six o'clock in the morning, uh, going to fish. Um, all of a sudden, it was the snakes. <laughs> One more time, I was scared. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, my mother enrolled in the bait. We got the fish. Honey, it was overflowing. Mm. It was really, one more time, so grateful. My mother, rest her soul, you know, but all of a sudden it hit me. Thank God for the, the presence of, the, one more time, the presence of Christ. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, the teaching is really, really, oh, Overflowing, yeah. In my life, thank right. you. By, by what by what you see and what, oh, what, what you, you experience. Oh, yeah. Amen. And oh, then yeah. you know, Amen. And my mother is really, really awesome. Uh, rest her so, but this is yeah. Christ. Yes, yes Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes. ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes. Yes. So with what you saw, what the what the, the the newly called or upcoming potential disciples saw, 
was a demonstration of the power of the Lord. Yeah. And you see that. You see mm-hmm. that. It's in your face. Your strength. And I mean, this is the, the thing about our, we modern day Christians, we, our belief mostly is based in faith. Mm-hmm. But we do get signs. We do get miracles. We may not have a boat full of fish that is mm-hmm. pulling us over, but right. hey, yeah. you went to the doctor and the doctor comes out and tells you, hey, you know what? You don't mm-hmm. have to come back and see me for two years. Get on mm-hmm. out of here. You're doing good. <laughs> right. There go your blessing right there. Amen. Your Amen. kid's been gone. You don't know where they Amen. are. You hear sirens and gunshots. You're like, oh, my baby, where are you at? Then he mm. walks through the door. Come on now. Yeah. We don't yeah. have to yeah. have a great big display of a miracle, but the little yes. ones that we get, oh, they're yeah. still miraculous. Yes. They're Your fears you. are calmed when you have a peace of mind with yes. everything that's going on. That's a miracle. Yes. And, yes. You know, we yes. talk about yes. this COVID, and you know, y'all know I'm sick of talking about it, but hey, it is what it is. Oh, this vaccine, y'all, this is just me talking. This is just me talking, and this is just what I feel, and I think it's been revealed to me. This is a miracle. It is oh, a miracle because yeah. we are nine months into this pandemic, and yeah. they've already got a vaccine. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like back in the day when they were doing polio and 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 uh, tuberculosis and smallpox, it took them years to get these vaccines mm-hmm. together, but they got this stuff done. Mm-hmm. Is that a miracle? That's, That's a miracle. Oh, yeah. yes, man. Yes, see, as you all know. My mom had the virus, you know, she had pneumonia. She was in the hospital for a week. She went to rehab for a week, you know, and she's 84 years old. But praise God, she's at home now. And, we went to- <laughs> and she, I took her yesterday to get her first vaccine, you know, so she's got the first one. Yeah. You know, because she was ready. She said, I want it, you know. you <laughs> say. <laughs> And she go back on February the 6th to get her second one. So Ooh, I just praise God that he favor. said her through yeah. this. Yeah. And like yeah. say, you, we were skeptical at first, yeah. you know, not yeah. knowing much about that. But I just have to look to God and say, Lord, we're in yeah. your hands. Absolutely. Yeah. That's yeah. just faith in God. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So and if we all sit and reflect, we can all find a miracle. Yeah, you can always yeah. find blessings, but you yeah. can also yeah. find a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes we hesitate to trust the Lord because yes. of the knowledge of oh. contradicts God's plan. Yes. All of Peter's expertise indicated that the mm-hmm. was it was useless at such an hour that God uh, Jesus was telling them to do that. But sometimes Mm -hmm. God challenges Mm -hmm. to act even when they do not understand how they can still be successful. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, have you, can you share a time when you just stepped out on faith? I mean, you just stepped out on faith? Or, you know, have you ever even questioned what you thought God was was saying to you? Oh, yes. Oh, definitely. And some, I mean, people like these young people. These millennials, they have no fear. And I'm no, hoping they don't. that they don't have no fear, but I'm hoping that they're using their faith as well. Amen. When they're stepping out and they're going Amen. out and they're and they starting these businesses and they're doing yes. all these things, I hope they have the Lord behind them. I hope Amen. they have stepped out on yes. their, their prayer life when God says, I, again, I got you. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. Then if you fail, I'm going to bless you with Amen. another day Amen. because my mercies Amen. are new every, every day. Amen. Amen. So if you didn't make it today, all right, go on to the next one because I got yeah. something else for you. Don't Amen. give up. Amen. And you know the choir sing that song all the time. Don't give up. Don't give in. Ain't that right, Debbie? Yeah. That's right. You keep your thing. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, All right. Uh, thank you, God. Uh, guys. Next slide, please. Okay. When uh, Simon Peter realized what had happened, he fell to his knees before Jesus and said, Oh, Lord, please leave me. I'm such a sinful man, for he was awestruck by the number of fish they had caught. 
mm. as were the others with him. His partners, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, were also amazed. Jesus replied to Simon, don't be afraid. From now on, you'll be fishing for people. And as soon as they landed, they left everything and followed Jesus. Okay. This is this some Man. good stuff right here. Yeah. So Peter, Amen. again, Simon Peter, is like, oh, my God. Literally. Mm. Oh, mm. my God. Look at what, what happens. And he falls to his mm. knees. And he's like, oh, I, I question him. How dare I question him? Lord, just, just leave me. You know, he's not going to leave God and turn his, his back on God and walk away from him. He's asking him to just get walk away from me, Lord, because I'm not even worthy to be in your presence mm -hmm. at, at this time. I'm a sinful man. And I mean, he, he, I mean, you feel bad. It's just like even with your kids, you tell your kids to do something and they they or they do or they don't do what they tell you to do and they come back and they're like my mom's i was wrong i'm so sorry and then they feel bad because you told me and i didn't believe you at least you hope they do but uh, simon peter is just totally upset with the way that he received this but he was amazed amazed by the number of fish that they had caught and everybody around him was amazed as well but he almost missed what just happened to him. He almost missed. When Jesus tell him, don't be afraid, this speaks to the forgiveness of the Lord. And Peter just, just get away, get away. And Jesus is like, no, it's all right, man. It's okay. You don't even worry about it because you know what? You're going to become <clears throat> fishers of men. This is Simon's reprieve. You may not have believed me then, but believe me now, because mm -hmm. now you're coming with me and you are going to fish for men. And who else was listening to him when, when, um, he, when he forgave Simon Peter of his doubt? James and John. James and John. James and John. James and John. Yeah. And these are, you know, this is where Jesus is, calling his disciples now in what is that matthew um four and 18 matthew 4 and 18 it also says that uh, simon peter's brother andrew was there mm -hmm. it doesn't say it in this particular gospel but in matthew it says that he does so here we are jesus is calling his disciples and my dad used to say i can show you better than i can tell you Nah. And that's what he's done. Jesus has showed him, look at what I can do. So he's got, and now mm -hmm. he is calling the disciples. And what a miraculous calling is for the son of God to say, come on and go with me. Come and go with me. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to teach you what I know. I want you to keep your faith. And you're going to bring other people to salvation through me. Mm -hmm. What an honor. What an honored that must be so they pull into the dock or get back onto shore they left everything just dropped it mm -hmm. and it doesn't say that they went home and got a suitcase mm -hmm. or a bag or a satchel or whatever peter was married he didn't even go home from what we read here he mm -hmm. didn't go home and say goodbye to his wife and kids they didn't care nothing about boats nets fish, family, none of that. God said, let's, they said, go. Mm -hmm. And off they went and, and began their, their missionary journeys with Christ. Mm -hmm. How wonderful it had to be to really get teachings and knowledge from the man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How wonderful that must be. You, you know, I'm looking at this. John, um, it's striking me. John is the disciple who wrote the book of Revelation, mm -hmm. the last, the last one. And if my memory, it, it may not be right, but I, I believe James was the first disciple to be martyred. So here we have the very beginning mm -hmm. and the very end of the disciples. You know, it's mm -hmm. like instead standing in front of the beginning and the end and the all ever present God. It's just so many um, 
parallels as I'm looking at this. Yes. And as it says, they just dropped everything to follow him. And mm -hmm. you know what else that this says? I don't care that I don't have any money. I don't care if I don't have a change of clothes. I don't care if I don't have any of those things because mm. Jesus, you are going to provide all my needs. Amen. All my needs. And Amen. we know as they travel, Jesus would say, go here, go there, get this, get that. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. when they got there, they got this or that. Mm -hmm. We know That's as true. they journey through the lands, mm -hmm. they depended on the hospitality of other people. Mm -hmm. Now, Amen. who you going to have come into your house and you don't even know them? <laughs> but they look up and say, here comes the Lord in the flesh. Come on down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Man. And like you say, Jesus told them, don't take no purse, no nothing. You know, mm -hmm. because like you said, he will provide for them. And that's what happened. The one thing that stood out to me in verse 10 was that Jesus, he turned a normally deadly activity into something precious and life-giving. And Simon mm -hmm. Peter now will go out and fish for things that would bring from death to life again. Mm -hmm. And rather than him using tools like boats and nets, the fishermen now would be empowered with the spirit in order to uh, bring the men to Christ. Amen. Now I want to ask you this question. Who do you trust in these days and time that you just going to walk away from everything and follow them? Nobody, except for, no, oh, oh, I almost said the T word, but um, <laughs> them cult people, them mm -hmm. cult people, but look where it got them. Mm -hmm. Look where it's mm -hmm. getting them. Well, in these days and times, I mean, even, and I mean, uh, Debbie tells the story quite often about Jim Jones, how her mother and her auntie kind of followed him. But then the Lord showed them this man is not who he says he is. Right. And they like, oh, no. Oh, when you throw the Bible man. down and would you say he threw the Bible Stepped down and stomped yeah. on it or something? Yeah, don't listen. Don't you listen to me. Don't pay attention to that. You know, the word. <laughs> really? in other words, you know, he's saying I'm the one that you should pay attention to and follow what mm -hmm. I say. And my mother and my aunt knew well enough that that ain't God. That's not right. yeah. no. And that's when he was on yeah. Delaware, had the church on Delaware. Mm -hmm. That's where mm -hmm. they would go and see mm -hmm. him. I think mm -hmm. it was like 16th or 18th in Delaware. But yes. Well, you know, just people, told, man, don't put your trust in man. Well, man. Trust oh, in God. People look Woo! at fame. You know, we, we have so many other little gods now. People you know, their, their Instagram accounts, you know, they make, in fact, we even make ourselves, guys, how many followers do I have on Instagram? Right. Mm -hmm. Come on, How many now. people are looking at me? Let's see, which celebrity or, well, mostly it is celebrities that people, and I don't even want to give them, you know, the celebrity is another, another form to me of um, idolatry when <laughs> you can't even go a day without figuring out and seeing what somebody's doing this minute of their life or that minute of their life, particular people whose names forever pop up in, in, the, in the social media. But you know, uh -huh. we make little gods or, or of ourselves and of other people and not necessarily somebody from a pulpit, but pretty soon when all were consumed with, I don't even want to me mention their names, but you know, you can. I mean, I'm sure all of us can have some that come to mind that's never seem to to leave the media pages for attention. Right. Right. Exactly, and not just not just from the White House. I mean, you know. Mm -hmm. All right, Mr. Okay, Sissy. Have... Yeah. Mm, yes. Yeah. You have to mute when you this here talking about commitment. You know, it's a process, but when you when you get to that made up mind. When you, you get to a made up mind for Christ I live and for Christ I die, <laughs> when you see the manifestation of the Holy Spirit in your own life, mm -hmm. people just don't understand why you on, on, on the Zoom on Sunday morning, you don't have to be. Right. Why, are you, why are you doing anything for the Lord? Mm -hmm. You don't take all that. Mm -hmm. But when you have a made up mind, <laughs> come on now. That was a song. What one songs? I'm too close. 
I'm too uh, close to turn back mm -hmm. around. Man. All right. All right. I ain't going back. <laughs> Come on now. I'm like the other sister, man. She talk yeah. about her mother fishing, man. You get to a point where I'm committed. I got a made up mind. I ain't mm -hmm. going back to foolishness. That's okay. over. Ain't nothing back there. Okay. Okay. Great job. Yeah. And so, and, and here we are. You know, the title. The title of our lesson was called to significance. This yeah. is Simon's Peter call to significance, which is. Significance mm -hmm. is the quality of being worthy, the quality of, of attention. Mm -hmm. So now Jesus has called him. And what is more su significant? Like you said, Vanessa, you ain't going back. You've been no. called for significance. <laughs> you know what you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Look at me. I'm trying to help you. I can't save you, but I can tell you what you yeah. need to do. Oh, to yeah. Be saved. Mm -hmm. Receive mm -hmm. it or not, but this is what my 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 call to significance is. So mm -hmm. yes, thank you for that. So anybody else have any comment on these verses? And just like in verse eleven, as soon as they landed, they left everything and followed Jesus, and that is mm -hmm. the commitment. You know, they made a commitment. I'm not turning back. I'm not like sissy said you know didn't go tell the family i gotta leave and you know but they just left with jesus so that faith you know in jesus and all the miracles that he performed that was enough for them to put their faith and trust in him and just follow him and if yeah, he, he would do that you know and yeah. i with the uh, the uh, proverbs challenge mm -hmm. i told my son i said start reading proverbs you know, start from chapter one and keep going. It's, you know, because it's just wisdom and speaking. You know, God's word was true back then. It's the same today and it will be the same in the future. You know, so he is the only one that we should put our faith and trust in. Because man, it will let you down as we every, have seen. Every time. Every time. Almost every, every time. time. Yeah. Every time. I used, to, I used to tell people, you know, I, I found myself in circles where I've had to or people would be trying to, or particular quote leaders would be trying to persuade me. And I would say, I knew Christ before I knew you, so I'm not necessarily dealing with you. Well, I would say to them, the most consistent thing in my life has been Christ. Amen. Even more consistent than family, mm -hmm. jobs, oh, yeah. money, and etc. So I said, yeah. one's personal relationship with Christ is what's our cornerstone to deal with all these different influences that people tell us. I always say, I knew Christ before I knew you, and the most consistent thing in my life has been Christ. And that's kind of been my foundation to deal with all that the world tries to tell you, despite what Christ is telling you. That's right. Amen. Amen. I just got two points I just want to make real quick. Uh, in verse 10, uh, it was very prophetic because Peter went on, as you all know, at Pentecost, and caught 3,000 fish. Yeah, and, come and on then, now. And, and, then, and then in verse 11, I just want to say this. Sometimes when along this Christian journey and following Jesus, you, you just got to leave some stuff behind. Yeah. Right. Hey, all right, all right. All right. Amen. 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 Some things you just can't drag and, and carry into the kingdom of God. You, you just got to leave some Amen. stuff behind. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So true. That's true. So true. Okay, mm -hmm. and for our final slide, please. Okay. As I was preparing this lesson, they were showing the footage of the rioters at the Capitol building. At the building where the foundation of our democracy was laid out. Mm -hmm. And I looked at that and I said, the founding fathers, they, they spoke a lot of the Lord. And then here you are attacking where, you know, like, like in God we trust and, you know, and all, and those things. And I just looked at that stuff while I'm, I'm preparing the lesson and I said, Lord, we need you now. So I wanted to add this, that you know, whoever prays us out today, to be sure to pray for peace. Because understand me, brothers and sisters, 
This crap ain't over. No, it is not, not, not over. over. No. And it's we never have stopped. prayed ourselves through a lot of stuff in 2020. And just because yeah. we're in 2021, a new year doesn't mean that we're getting rid of old tribulation. That's right. Mm -hmm. So yes, we always yes. need to stay in prayer. So before mm -hmm. somebody prays this out, prays this out, I forgot to ask at the beginning for praise reports. Anybody have something good that they just want to share? Yes, today is Ty's birthday. Oh. Yay, Ty! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> That's good. And talking about them blessings and this, the miracles. Every day you get every birth. I'm gonna tell y'all, Ty. I don't know what you're doing today. If you don't do nothing but open up a bottle of Pepsi, you go somewhere and celebrate this day. <laughs> celebrate this day because right. I believe, especially when you get old. <laughs> when you get old, you take you don't take days for granted. And I always say your birthday is the day that God chose for you to make your debut. And he and he carries you from one year to the next, and that's something to celebrate. Amen. So happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It was, it was, to you. It was, it was Friday too. Birthday. My birthday too. Friday. Oh. Okay. Oh, thank you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I want to give a praise report about my aunt um, who had her, her one of her, the lobes of her lungs removed a month ago. She's yeah. she's really doing well. She's still, of course, re rehabbing and recuperating, but she's doing remarkably well considering. Amen. 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 What Amen. Okay. I have a praise report. My yes, daughter, my daughter. And her husband are both back to work uh, from COVID. Amen. Both Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. I'd like to. Have, I'd like to give a praise report too that um, my whole family are COVID nineteen survivors, including my two small great grandsons who are three. Ah, mm. Wow. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Those are miracles, y'all. Wow. Those are miracles. Amen. Yes. And I have a praise report. I just had a cataract surgery this past Wednesday. And I got another oh. one come on my left eye and I um I'm seeing much better. And then I have my second one on my right eye on the 20th, so I ask prayer for that, you know, but God is good, and, and he's brought us through so much, so I love you all, Amen. my church family, you know, I, I, you know, your prayers, prayers of the righteous of Bellis Month. Yeah. Amen. 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 Okay. So, do we have any prayer requests? I know sure. Debbie mentioned to pray for her, her surgery. We need, and of course, we need to pray that these uh, folks that are being healed from COVID, that they come back 100%. Amen. And better. Amen. And, better. Amen. and better. Anyone else have prayer I, requests? I, yeah. have, um, I have one. I would like to add one more praise report. Oh, okay. Yeah, hey, despite what happened at the Capitol, we did have victory in Georgia. And, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Georgia Amen. is a model yes. for what Georgia can become a model for what other states can do. So we yeah. may move ourselves in a position where we can now um, matriculate through this <coughs> racist system in a different way with some power and stuff. So that's yeah. a praise report, despite what happened at the Capitol. That's right. Yes, it is. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. For Amanda Gordon. Um, daughter-in-law. Amen. Okay. Amen. And pray for my son. Um, I've got two sons that uh, need prayer just for their salvation. So um, the Tyler, two Tyler boys. <laughs> okay. Anyone else? I think to be in prayer for the new administration. Uh, and especially to um, keep Kamala Harris lifted up in prayer because she will be attacked as a first black female. And, and I think it's very brave of her. Um, of course, she wouldn't do anything else to be in this position, but there's going to be so much attack between 
in the Biden, with the uh, Biden administration. Amen. Amen. Okay. So who's going to take all these requests to the Lord for us in prayer? Who am I going to call on? Oh. Red Martis, you out there? Yeah, I'm out here. Oh, come on <laughs> with it now. Come on all with right. it. Father in heaven, as we again uh, petition the throne, uh, we're ever so thankful and, and grateful yeah. that you've allowed us again to come together and, and to study thy holy and righteous word. We pray, Lord, that you will honor all the prayer requests, that you would touch those that need touching and yes, bless Lord. those that, that need to be blessed. Yes, Lord. Father, we then ask that you will allow your spirit uh, to permeate this country. Yes, yes Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, we, we pray for the Republican Party. They're so hateful, Lord, and, and we just pray that they will acknowledge that they got where they are because people elected them to work for them, mm -hmm. not for any one man or not for any one come person, on. but yes. they, they work for all of us, Father, and pray mm -hmm. that the Republican Party will come together with yeah. the Democratic yeah. Party so yeah. we can be a united nation. Yeah. Father, there's so much hate in this world, and we just pray that it would end today and, and love and peace will, will start reigning tonight. Pray, and we pray that the Congress will do what they have to do in order to ensure that justice will be served. Yeah. Uh, Father, we pray for all of those people that stormed the, the, the seat of democracy. Uh, we ask forgiveness for them, Father, for yeah. they've been misled. They've been misled, Father, yeah. and we, we pray that the devil will, will come out of them and the White House. Yeah. And Father, we'd be ever so grateful to, to give you the praise and the glory and the honor. Bless Sister Raglan, bless, uh, bless Kim, and bless all these that attended Sunday school and continue to be faithful to your word. Thank well, if we will do what you told us to do, yes. I say again, you'll do what we could never do. And yes. Father, we just thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 I'd like to say, Sissy, great job again. Oh, Wonderful. thank you. Thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you so amen. much. Yes. I'm so happy. To, I missed y'all so much. I'm <laughs> glad to see everybody today. Bless you. Good to see everyone. So, okay. With that, if we don't have anything else, or nobody else has anything they want, anybody want gossip or something? No. no. Nah. <laughs> I'm just glad to see people, even if you are in a box. Y'all don't like boxes either, but I'm glad to see you all. And God bless you all. Love you. Okay. Love, Love you all. Bless you guys. Bless you. Be safe. Everybody. <laughs>